Now let's discuss the game development team. First, you must understand that games are made by people for people. The success of a game comes from the people involved on the team and the efforts they put into the game. We'll discuss the importance of the team in great detail at various stages across the course. To start this discussion, let's relate the team back to our construction analogy. Games, like building construction, usually employs many different roles or jobs to get the project done. The game designer is just one of those roles. It's, you can view a game designer like an architect on a construction project. The producers are the folks that manage the project, including both the people on the team and the resources. The programmers are like the tradespeople, the masons, the carpenters, the electricians, the plumbers. They're the ones that build the core structure of the game. And the artists and sound designers can be analogous to the interior designers, the painters, the landscapers that make the game aesthetically pleasing to the target audience. The makeup of the team will vary largely based on the size and scope of the project, just like it is in construction. For example, if you're building a shed, you probably only need a small number of people. But if you're building a skyscraper, you need hundreds, if not thousands of people. The same can be found in game development. So a small size team is one, of course, that's gonna take on a smaller scoped project. Uh, it's maybe one to five people where each person has to wear multiple hats and kind of have a broad skill set to be able to take on those different things. So they have a broad responsibility and less management, um, you know, because there's less people, less lines of communication. So the typical roles that we see in a small team are that of the designer, the programmer, and the artist. Uh, you know, you can throw sound design in here as well. You know, these are kind of the core skill sets that are needed on any game project. When we move up to a slightly larger team or a medium sized team, you know, four to 25 people, this is where we start to have uh, the need for people to manage the team. So we add producers that manage schedules, manage budgets, uh, probably most importantly, manage, manage communication across the different stakeholders. And of course they take on various odd jobs along the way as team size grow, these odd jobs pop up. Um, you know, the, the disciplines themselves, we may need to become more specialized as the size of the project grows. For example, uh, in the programming bucket, we may have gameplay programmers, we may have graphic programmers, we may have networking programmers, rather than just, you know, a sole programmer that's taking on all those roles. Because on a larger project, a larger scope project, we need you know, we need to divide and conquer, and we need maybe special expertise in certain areas. And the same can be said across design and art as well. With a larger sized team, a larger sized project, um, you know, 25 plus, I would say, we need even more people to manage the team. Uh, so we may, you know, have leaders or managers in each of these areas, like a lead designer, a lead programmer, a lead artist. Uh, we often add in-between roles as well to bridge across those disciplines. So, for example, we have level designers that bridge across design and art. We have technical artists that bridge across art and programming. And we have scripters or maybe mission planners that bridge across design and programming. Some of the names of these in-between positions vary across the industry. For example, one company may view a level designer as a bridge across design and programming rather than the design and art, or perhaps they bridge across all three. Uh, you know, these in-between positions, you know, currently in the game industry, we're seeing a vast need for these, these kind of people that can wear multiple hats and kind of understand the unique aspects of each discipline and then can hone that into uh, the game that is actually being built. <laughs>